Our first mistake can be found in the Season 8 episode, Bubble Trouble. In this episode, SpongeBob and Patrick tragically ruin Sandy's ongoing supply of oxygen. And due to this being something she needs to literally survive, from here, the episode focuses on their search for more oxygen. Now I will say, it isn't the best Season 9 episode, but it is fun, so I recommend watching it. Anyways though, onto the mistake. At the very beginning of the episode, when we see Patrick blow a bubble, his eyebrows seem to be missing for an entire frame. Oh, also this one is more me nitpicking, but despite Squidward calling his trimmed plant a bonsai, it is in fact a topiary. A bonsai is a miniature sized tree, while a topiary is a shrub bush or tree trimmed in a certain shape, which in this case would be Squidward's beautiful head. Here's a clip. Neato. Watch this. Our next mistake comes from a later episode in the series. I believe it's from season 10 or season 11, and that's the episode Cuddle E Hugs. Now we all know what the Krusty Krabs dumpster looks like, right? It's a bit of a weird question, but it has a green top and bamboo edges. But the Krusty Krab must have installed a new one, because for some reason, it now just looks like a generic metal dumpster with no bamboo edges in the episode Cuddle E Hugs. I'm definitely nitpicking with this error, but it's definitely an error. Here's a clip. New best friend! I like the sound of that! Then bring it in for the real deal! <laughs> That's what I call a hug! In the episode Wormy, Spongebob and Patrick help Sandy out by pet-sitting her pet caterpillar, Wormy. Now eventually, Wormy does what all caterpillars do, and goes through evolution, thus turning into a butterfly. And when this happens, Spongebob and Patrick act terrified, with Spongebob claiming he's never seen a butterfly before. Well, this is incorrect, as in the episode Bubble Stand, Spongebob blows a bubble that looks like a butterfly. I'm definitely pushing it with this one as both episodes are from season 1, but yeah, here's a clip. What is that thing? I don't know, Patrick. But whatever it is, it must have been wormy! <sighs> In the episode Squidville, Squidward moves away from Spongebob and Patrick, and finds himself living in Squidville, a town that's meant for squids. During his stay, Squidward finds all sorts of activities that are perfect for him, one of them being an entire studio or academy dedicated to interpretive dance. Now during this part of the episode, a bubble transition is shown to transition into the next scene. But for a brief second, Rough Draft Korea appears at the bottom of the screen. This error was made by Rough Draft Studios in South Korea, which fun fact is where they animated this episode. Here's a clip of the mistake. An interpretive dance academy! Yeah, it's even better in a group! This town is perfect! A clarinet trio! In the episode Reef Blower, from Spongebob Season 1, there are a few inconsistencies with the windows of Spongebob's iconic pineapple house. If you're a hardcore Spongebob fan like myself, then you know that Spongebob's house has three windows. One on the first floor, one on the second floor, and one on the very top. But during a few scenes in the episode Reef Blower, the window on the first floor is missing. The top one disappears a few times too. To be fair, this was a season 1 episode, so I guess they have an excuse, but yeah, here's a clip of the mistake with audio. <laughs> when 
when Mr. Krabs begins to think that he's paying SpongeBob too much money in the episode SpongeBob You're Fired, SpongeBob, well, sadly gets fired. Fortunately, he ends up finding a new job at Weenie Hut, a hot dog establishment. At first, things are pretty darn rough for SpongeBob, with him even being fired at his new job. But don't worry, in the end, SpongeBob goes back to where he belongs, the Krusty Krab. Now I hate to be that guy, but at one point of the episode, SpongeBob claims to not know what a hot dog is. However, this is a blatant writing error, as if we go back to the season 1 episode, Walking Small, SpongeBob literally steals them from Bikini Bottom residents, and he's also encountered them before, so yeah, this was some poor continuity. Here's a clip. There's something not quite right about this food, but I'm not sure what it is. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, not all of me. Hot dogs! Yeah. Hot dogs! Look at that huge line at the hot dog stand. I'll do better than that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go home. When Plankton starts stealing the Krusty Krab's business by selling greasy items in the episode Greasy Buffoons, the Krusty Krab is forced to compete and begins to sell their own grease-covered food. It's kind of gross. Now this is a fairly decent episode with some funny moments, but we're here to talk about mistakes, right? So yeah, let's rewind back to this scene and spot some. When Mr. Krabs is reading Plankton's sign for Chummy Patties, he says the word delicious and reads a sentence claiming, now with edible flavor. However, if we look at this sign, none of these things are on the sign, so I don't know where Mr. Krabs is getting it from, thus making for a weird little mistake. Here's a clip. Excuse me, coming through. What the? Try Plankton's new delicious Chummy patties, now with edible flavor. <laughs> Clearly something crappy is going on here. In the episode Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost, Squidward decides to spook everyone by pretending to be a ghost, thus making Spongebob and Patrick think that their neighbor is dead. Now near the end of the episode, we see this shot of Spongebob and Patrick. And if you look closely as Spongebob says, never mind, his eyelashes are missing. Another error occurs earlier on in the episode, when Spongebob and Patrick carry Squidward out of his house while he lays on his royal bed. It might not look like there's anything wrong with this shot at first, but there seems to be something missing, and that's Spongebob's iconic pineapple house, which should be to the left of Squidward's place. Here's a clip. He really needs to get up to the great beyond. Patrick, say that again. That again. No, the other thing. No, the other thing. No, what you said before when no, you- No, what you said before when you- Never- Never mind! I've got an idea! Never mind! I've got an idea! Uh, here? Too hot. Uh, 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 here? No, too wet. Keep going. In the Season 8 episode, Smooth Jazz at Bikini Bottom, Squidward and Spongebob win backstage passes and tickets to Kelpie G's live concert. However, Patrick eats their passes shortly after the concert begins. Losing their passes, Spongebob and Squidward try to sneak backstage to meet Kelpie G. And from here, the episode gets really, really good. So let's skip the plot summary and get into the mistakes. It's why you clicked on the video. During the opening scene, where we see Squidward dance as he sweeps, we can see outside the window, and both the path to the chum bucket and the restaurant itself are missing, when they should both be visible based on previous episodes. Oh, thank you for dining at the Krusty Krab. Can I give you a hand with that, SpongeBob? Sure. Thanks, Squidward. Gee, I guess playing Kelpie G's music here in the restaurant has really energized him. In the episode Pull Up a Barrel, Mr. Krabs tells SpongeBob and Squidward a tale from his old Navy days, with the characters of the show portraying his various crew members. It's a great episode, full of funny moments, but there is one big problem. 
In the episode Shell of a Man, Mr. Krabs explains that he previously worked in the Navy along with his Navy buddies. However, in this episode, Mr. Krabs is not wearing his Navy uniform that he showed in Shell of a Man. His boat does not look the same in the picture, none of his shipmates are there, and his name was not Armor Abs Krabs. In this episode, he was supposedly a chef on a suntan lotion boat. This isn't necessarily a mistake, but whoever wrote this episode definitely needs to watch some older ones. Here's a clip. Let me sit with me and toss the boat, like a rag doll on a trampoline. I was in the galley, cooking up grub for me crew to keep their mind off this horrible squall. And this is me manly toughness trophy. How'd you win that? By being the toughest of the tough. Who are those guys? Me shipmates. The toughest bunch to ever sail the briny deep. There's old Iron Eye and Mutton Chop, me, Torpedo Belly, and Lockjaw Jones. Did you have a cool nickname, Mr. Krabs? Of course! I was old Armor Abs Krabs! One of my favorite types of Spongebob episodes are the ones that center around the iconic crime-fighting duo Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. In the episode Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3, Spongebob and Patrick accidentally free the very evil supervillain Man Ray, so they are forced to use the Orb of Confusion to save the day. Now throughout the episode, Patrick wears a blue outfit with a white hat. However, during this very brief shot, Patrick's hat is incorrectly colored blue, like the rest of his outfit, thus making for a subtle but not so big of a deal mistake. Here's a clip. You no longer have control of me, and now this town belongs to Man Ray. Not so fast! Darch villain, we still have the orb of confusion. Take this! Well, that was easy. Our next mistake comes from the season 4 episode, Fear of a Krabby Patty. In this episode, Mr. Krabs makes SpongeBob and Squidward provide 24 7 service, and this eventually drives SpongeBob mad. SpongeBob and Squidward start off well enough, but eventually they both become incredibly exhausted. Understandably so. In the end, things work out, when Mr. Krabs makes the considerate decision to change the Krusty Krabs hours from 24 hours to 23. But if we head over to this scene, we can find a mistake. As SpongeBob sees killer Krabby Patties everywhere, the chum bucket across the street is completely missing, when it should be visible based on previous episodes. Don't eat me! I'm too chewy! Ah! SpongeBob overhears Squidward say that he has never tried a Krabby Patty and hates them. With this in mind, SpongeBob tries his very best to convince Squidward that Krabby Patties are good, and though Squidward completely denies it, SpongeBob ends up succeeding by the end of the episode. Due to Squidward's initial denial though, we see a scene of a depressed SpongeBob walking towards the back of the Krusty Krab, and we also see a window to the right of the restaurant's back door. Moments later though, as Squidward goes to spy on Spongebob through that same door, it's magically switched places, from the right of the back door to the left of the back door. Here's a clip. Now go spread the word! Wait! After that performance, he'd never let me live it down. I gotta sneak one. Just one. Then I'm off the stuff for good. Our next mistake is present within the episode, Sing a Song of Patrick. In this episode, Patrick tries to write a song, and everyone at Bikini Bottom, apart from Patrick and SpongeBob, absolutely hate it. Poor Patrick. Now the mistake shows up during this scene, where the record producer gives SpongeBob a copy of I Wrote This. During this scene, Spongebob is given a CD. However, later on in the episode, when Spongebob is atop of the radio tower, the CD has magically changed to a vinyl record. Here's a clip. They wanted you to have this. My song! Ah! Come on, let's hear it! Um, I don't know. You're not gonna throw dodgeballs at me? I don't 
don't see any dodgeballs here, buddy. Just an artist and his work. Yeah, and me too. Now sit down and get comfortable. Faster, SpongeBob, faster! <laughs> well, this record won't stay put. In the episode, Kenny the Cat, Spongebob becomes obsessed with a cat called, well, Kenny the Cat. This cat is famous in Bikini Bottom for being able to hold his breath underwater for a very long amount of time. Turns out though, Kenny is a fake and has been using an oxygen tank the entire time. Now this is shockingly revealed to us at the end of the episode, but let's rewind for a moment and talk about a few mistakes. For one, when Kenny punches himself for his oxygen tank and uses it in front of his fans, the chum bucket across the street is nowhere to be found when it should be visible based on previous episodes. Also, during this scene, we can see Patrick wearing his Kenny the Cat hat. However, seconds later, when Spongebob paints Patrick's face, the hat is gone, despite there being no scene of Patrick removing it. Here's a clip. Hey, that reminds me! Let's paint our faces to look like Kenny! <laughs> Perfect! We're the biggest Kenny the Cat fans ever! I need oxygen! Kenny was a fake! In the episode, Krabby Road, Plankton is at it again and wants to steal the Krusty Krab secret formula. But this time, he takes a different approach. He tricks SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward into joining his band, all in the hopes of them somehow getting him into the Krusty Krab. Now, of course, this plan eventually fails when SpongeBob realizes that Plankton is just using them. But if we head over to this scene, we can spot a mistake. When Squidward tries to lift the weight and injures his arm, SpongeBob can hear him scream in pain over the phone. However, just before this, Squidward had hung up the phone, so SpongeBob should not have been able to hear Squidward scream. It literally would have been impossible. So yeah, another mistake. Here's a clip. Oh man, Squidward's not gonna wanna miss this. Hello? Hi, Squidward. Aren't you coming to band practice? Are you kidding? I've got a lot of work to do before I'm famous. <laughs> okay, then. We'll keep your seat warm. 